Welcome back everyone. Today on the corner, we're gonna calibrate E-steps on our Tronxy XY2 Pro. Here we go. All right, so today I'm gonna to calibrate my extruder on the Tronxy XY2 Pro with the Marlin firmware. Why do we need to calibrate our extruder? Well, the reason is that when you calibrate your extruder, this is an old Bontech extruder I have kicking around, it's a clone, but it basically, when you calibrate it, it tells the extruder and the stepper motor the right amount of filament to push through the hot end. Um, if you don't push the right amount of filament through the hot end, you'll get problems like under extrusions where you have gaps in your prints or missing layers. Um, or over extrusion where you get stringiness, blobs, zits, all that sort of stuff. So it's always a good idea. When you first get your printer, you know you're going to level your red, you're all excited, you're going to run a TIS print, and then you know you're going to just keep printing and printing and printing. It's a pretty good idea to run a extruder calibration in order to just make sure you're you're, you're extruding the proper amount of filament out of your, into your hot end out of your extruder to optimize your print quality. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so the first thing we're going to do to do this is we're going to um, heat up our hot end. Okay, we want to get it to our printing temperature. Uh, I like to print about 200, so that's where we're going to heat it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure off 120 mils of filament. Oops, that's inch side. <laughs> you want the uh, millimeter side, that's always going to help. All right. And so I've done this before, as you can tell by my little black mark on here. So there we are. There's 120 mils of filament. Now what I'm going to do is... Now that my hot end is heated up. All right, so I'm going to go settings. I'm going to go motion. I'm going to go move axis. Extruder. And what I want to do is I want to, I want to move 10 mils 10 times for 100. So that's 1, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 80, 90, 100. So I marked that at 120. Now the reason why I did that and I'm only moving into 100 is because I need to see how much space I have left. All right, and then we're gonna do some math. So the extruder is extruding. Let me show you here. It is still spinning. So when it stops, I should have extruded a hundred. There's my little black mark. It's getting closer and closer. Now if this extruder is calibrated properly, that black little mark should come right up to the end of the, um, the filament sensor. So I'm going to measure this off here. So as you can see, it's 25 mils. So to me, that looks like I'm under extruding by 5 mils. All right. So because remember this mark was 120 and I've extruded 100. So now I'm 5 mils off. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to find out how much my steps are. I'm going to go into Configuration, Advanced Settings, Over 1, and you're going to see Steps Per Mill. And my extruder steps are 186. All right, let's try and do this upside down and backwards. All right, so I had 120 mil that I marked on my filament. I then extruded 100 and I had 25 remaining. 
So in reality, I only extruded 95 mils of filament. All right. Then you, as I say, then what you have to do is you're going to have to go into your configuration, advanced settings, and you're going to go into your steps per mil, and you're going to find what your E steps are. My current E steps are 186. Is that right? I think that's backwards. Sorry. I'm trying to write this upside down and backwards. 186, okay. Um, those are my E steps. So what I want to do is I wanted to extract 100 mils. I got 95. So we're going to divide by we're going to divide our 95 by 100 and that's going to get us to 0 0.95. Five, right and then we're going to divide our E steps our 186 divided into 0 0.95 and that's going to give me our new E step value which is 195 uh, seven eight nine so that's my new value so what I'm gonna do with this is so now I'm simply going to insert our new e steps into the printer so advanced and then steps per mil and we're gonna increase this to 195.78 195.789, so 195.8. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we can store our settings. And we'll go back just to make sure our new value is in there. Configuration, advanced settings, uh, steps per mil, E steps 195 per 8. So we're good to go. So here we go, we're back with the extruder. There's still my mark. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark off another 120. And then we're gonna do this again. Make sure your filament's as straight as possible. So you get an accurate reading, right? So. I know it's kind of a pain, but you figure it out, right? So there we go. All right, so let's see how much closer we can get that. So I'm just going to go back to the screen and we're going to go motion, move access, move my extruder 10 mil, and we're going to move it 100. As you can see, it's spinning. My mark is now up there. We're going to see how far we get. And hopefully we'll be bang on to the five mils. So this is actually quite an easy thing to do, especially with Marlin, because everything's in there okay so we're so now it's done extruding so we're simply gonna go and check it again here and if everything worked out well we should be pretty bang on to the 20 mil mark. Hmm. So there we go. See, so I think it's off by one mil now. I could always do it one more time and get it bang on, but it's a lot better than it was. So there you go. So that is a quick and easy way to figure out the math. Hopefully I wrote this here. That's upside down. <laughs>
I was trying to write upside down, now I'm putting everything upside down, right? That is the quick and easy way on how we um, calibrated our extruder. Um, and yes, I was off by about a millimeter, but I have a feeling that was simply me um, not measuring properly, going a little honky, but still, we went from a five millimeter under extrusion to within a one millimeter. So overall, I'm gonna see a little bit of improvement with my prints. I might have a little bit less stringing, um, blobbing, zits, whatever. Um, but now I know that my extruder is calibrated. So if I have other issues, I can start looking towards my slicer. Because once you have a calibrated machine, you know you have a good print off of it, then you can um, look at other things like your slicer settings, like your retraction or your flow rate or whatever, in order to troubleshoot your printer. So that's a quick way that I know how to calibrate my extruder. Uh, all of this stuff was taken off of the internet. I hope this video helps you calibrate your extruder and get better prints. If you have a different way, leave a note in the comments. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button. All right. So thanks so much for watching. Peace out.